Hey my Libra loves, welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and hop into it and see what messages come out for you at this time. Um, please remember that these are general. Only take the parts that resonate for you. Feel free to switch the roles if you need to and time and energy are fluid. So this could be past, present, future energy. Take how it resonates for you. Although I, I mostly focus on current and probably, you know, I mean, <laughs> current and future energy so but it could be passed for you guys too all right host spirit guardian angels ancestors spirit guide spirit team with the highest white light please be with me for this reading for the libra collective i pray that no weapon formed against us shall prosper please protect me as i channel the messages for the libra collective and if there's any evil eye negative energy spell work being sent this way i ask that it is handled according to your highest will holy spirit ashe amen all right so um yeah, let's let's see what comes out. Oh shit. Alright. They want me to use the black tarot deck, y'all. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm using it. Okay. Shuffling for Libra. All right, somebody feels like they missed out on an opportunity with you. There could be an opportunity to come back around. <clears throat> this may have something to do with family with the Ten of Cups here. Or somebody sees you as their Ten of Cups, as their happiness. But you have the Five of Swords showing up. That, that, that energy, that shit. Knight of Swords. Somebody wants to say something. So, yep, yeah, look, I was about to say somebody wants to say something, a conversation, ace of swords. So some type of truth. Um, you're gonna get some type of truth and clarity. Somebody wants to have a conversation with you. The knight of swords to the ace of swords. Somebody wants to speak their truth, come clean, clear the air, or something like that. Child, could be a queen of wands. The witch bitch. You gotta you could find out something about a Queen of Wands energy. This could be any type of feminine energy. Uh could be a I'm here maternal, could be a mother figure, could be a sister, could be a friend, could be an auntie, you know, some type of um feminine energy could be her low vibrational, low vibrational feminine feminine energy. Yeah, with the eight of swords here. Somebody feels stuck or trapped. Somebody's in their head, yeah, about I'm in a fresh start or a new beginning. This could be somebody's ex. All right. We have five of spears. This is somebody that feels left out in the cold. Somebody feels abandoned. Somebody could be somebody that you withdraw your energy from. Nine of wands. Somebody that you blocked. Or somebody has blocked this person. Or this person feels blocked. There's heavy uh, Aries and Sagittarius energy showing up here. Okay. Let's see. Eight of Swords. Yeah, somebody feels like stuck or like somebody's all up in their head or something. You okay? Mm -hmm. Somebody in their head. Ace of Spears. I told you about a new beginning, about a fresh start. Yeah. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is this is like abundance. This is a new beginning. This is um I heard forthcoming. So you have abundance coming to you. This talks about stability. This is like the Ace of Pentacles. So new opportunities and job. Your money's looking good. It could be a new person entering your life here. And somebody's trying to sabotage it with the Seven of Swords. Somebody got some type of hidden agenda. Um, somebody's trying to sabotage it. Seven of Swords energy. Three of Cups. Yeah, a third party. <sighs> Okay, so let's see what's coming. What's got a lot from that? What's the message of spirit? What's the message of spirit? Thank you, spirit. What is it? What's going on here? Child, five swords. <sighs> Somebody just thinking, like thinking of a master plan, but it's a it's a it's a plan to sabotage something. All right, this could be somebody in your energy or in the energy of the person that you're dealing with or the person that you're thinking about, okay? Or somebody that's coming towards you. Again, some of y'all are in this energy. Some of y'all, this is forthcoming energy, okay? Four of Cups. 
a missed opportunity. Somebody's trying to figure out how they can make somebody miss an opportunity here. Nine of Wands, how they can block your blessings. Four of Wands. What did I say with this? What did I say four of Wands with this? I don't know what I said. Nine of Wands. Okay. Four of Wands. Forward movement. For I mean, yeah, shit. I didn't mean to say that, but yeah, that's what it is. Blocking, nine of wands talks about blocking. Four of wands is ascension. Y'all see those stairs going up, leading to like, it looks like a star up there or like a light at the end of the tunnel or whatever. This is like where you're headed to ascension. Um, this is going up. This could be a soulmate connection with the four of wands here, higher level of commitment here. Um, this is like stability. This is more stability. This could be you coming into to union with the soulmate with your person okay building something yeah building something and remember um i don't know which reading that was somebody can comment below uh, it, it was it was either one i did yesterday or the day before but when i was talking about the stairs um going up the stairs and then it being a hole in the stairs and you healing that or building it so you can use using something as a stepping stone somebody's trying to dig a hole for you to fall into or you know what i'm saying and something about you healing something or to use something as a stepping stone or something like that i can't remember exactly what i said but it was something like that okay but yeah somebody's in their head trying to figure out how they can sabotage some type of opportunity for you that's coming towards you okay whether this is a job opportunity whether this is um something to do with a person, whatever it is, okay? They, any type of happiness that you may have coming towards you, okay? Any type of wish fulfillment that you may have coming towards you, somebody's trying to figure out how, what they can do to sabotage Libra in any type of way. If you're thinking about getting a new pair of shoes, somebody, and they know about it, they think about how they can keep you from getting them damn shoes, Thinking about getting to the store before you and buying up all the damn shoes just so you don't get that one pair of shoes. <laughs> but then you go online and, and order them anyway. <laughs> like, they can't stop it. Yeah, for a while, the, this ascension, this, this connection, the, whatever this is, they can't stop it. Yeah. Not as spears, though. They're trying. They're definitely trying to slow it down. Oh, gosh. What else, spirit? What else do we need to know? Hmm. Three of Cups. This could have something to do with if this is a um if this is a an example like a relationship for you, then there's a third party energy outside of you and your person that wants to sabotage this connection, okay? Whether this is on your side, this person's side, an ex of yours, an ex of theirs, or could be the both of you. Same thing I've been saying, guys. Third party interference. Somebody trying to interfere with something that you want. Come, Somebody trying to drive a wedge between you and a person. Yeah, two of wands to the three of swords. Somebody's heartbroken. Maybe because you're not choosing them. Five of cups. Somebody feels sad. You have Sagittarius energy. Seven of wands. King of Spears, Queen of Cups, Will of Fortune, <laughs> Seven of Spears. Somebody coming in to invest with you, invest in you, okay? Whether, again, whether this is a business opportunity, you may have like a business partnership that's about to pop off. Somebody want me to shut up. Lord have mercy. I already bit my jaw. <laughs> um... But yeah, whatever this is, somebody there's there's some type of third party interference. Somebody trying to block your blessings. That's all it is. Somebody trying to block your blessings. They want to block your blessings. They want to block your blessings. They want to block your blessings. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. How many times do I have to tell y'all? Like, come on, man. There's somebody watching me. Um, it could be a cross watching energy. Could even be. Um, yeah, it's a cross watching energy. There's somebody here that watches me and or other tarot readers trying to get like clues um about how to sabotage something like somebody trying to just say there's a scorpio watching a libra reading okay you guys are dealing with the scorpio that person is watching a reading i'm gonna use this one as an example is here watching this reading 
to figure out one what you may have coming in and two um if there's going to be any clues as to how they can stop it like Go some fucking where and read a and do something else with your time and energy, please. Like, what are you doing? You look fucking crazy. I'm sorry. I'm in here cussing the baby out a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. But you look crazy. And I'm talking to the cross watching person. That's the person that's sitting here, probably taking notes, trying to figure out. Oh dang, Libra got and and then y'all watching this reading. This reading might not even be for your person right now. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Okay. Anyway, go watch some readings. It's gonna help you heal yourself. How about that? <sighs> All right. Where else, spirit? Cause this ain't gonna be long. I'm gonna. I just got led to the table to give y'all a quick message. So we're gonna. I'm going to try to make this quick, y'all. Overload. Somebody is stressed the hell out. Trying to get out of something. Somebody wants to get out of something. Some type of commitment. Some type of um contract or something like that. What's going on? Oh, let me cut the deck. Sorry. I'm hearing Rihanna. So somebody's name could be Rihanna or Riri, Rena. Okay. Or somebody's listening to Rihanna. Child, see. <sighs> Bruh, I don't have time. Somebody is trying to manifest an accident or some type of situation for somebody. Like somebody wants somebody to get hurt, whether this is physically or or emotionally somebody wants somebody to to you know be lied to be stood up to have their heart broken or their feelings hurt or something somebody's manifesting this for you i heard cross watching energy again so whoever that cross watcher is that same person that i was talking about yeah some of you probably know that your person be watching readings trying to get clues on you or watch to see what you got going on okay and I'm not, I'm not talking to, this is specifically, that message was specifically for a cross watcher, like somebody that's not a Libra. They may even have Libra in their chart, but I doubt it. I don't think so. It's just, it's just them watching because trying to see what the hell you got going on. What's the energy? What's, what's going on here, spirit? going on spirit mm. now somebody is paranoid and scared about some type of deal that they made or or something that they did and now they're asking for forgiveness for something that they did to you trying to sabotage you in some type of way mm. Y'all know my cards very rarely fall in, in the reverse. Like, I can read, if, if the energy is negative, I can read the negative energy even if the card is not reversed. Y'all, if y'all been watching me, y'all know my cards very rarely fall in the reverse. The, especially this deck, this deck been like, I don't know, it's been a lot of reversals going through, but, but, but it's because, but that's because it's a lot of bullshit and that's because a lot of this, all of this shit that these people are doing is backfiring. The idea card is in the reverse. Somebody's realizing that something that they did to you or tried to do to you was a bad idea. Somebody's realizing this. They're like, oh shit, I done fucked up. I, I done tried to, to hurt a Libra, an earth angel. Not even just a Libra. This is for anybody. You know what I'm saying? You may be watching this because you have Libra in your chart. Your Li Libra may not be your sun sign. It may be your moon or your rising or your Venus. Hell, it might be your damn Jupiter or it might be your first house or something. I don't know, but you got Libra somewhere in your chart. So, yeah. But you, so it doesn't have to be, this is not just for, you know, sun sign Libras because some of y'all watch because you have other Libra placements. But, and that's why I specified that person that's cross watching 
I'm not talking to the cross watcher that's watching because you have Libra in your chart. I'm talking to a cross watcher specifically watching for malicious intent. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who the fuck I'm talking to. You, if you can't discern which one of them that you are, then you know you probably the bullshitter or whatever the fuck. But anyway, damn, I'm just, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> she ain't listening to me, but I'm, I'm stopping cussing right now. Jeez, please, my bad. Okay. So anyways, yeah, didn't I say accident? Somebody figured out something was a bad idea. Something's backfiring too. And this person may get in some type of accident or be hurt in some type of way. What's wrong with you? Hmm. What happened? Okay. Now now they pleading and begging for forgiveness. I told y'all they sometimes. Mm, they scared. This person's scared because they didn't they didn't did some stuff that they wasn't supposed to do that they shouldn't have been doing. They're figuring out that they didn't messed up and they, whatever they was trying to do or send to you or you know whatever it was a bad idea. Now this person's realizing that now. Now they may be the one hurt. Okay, somebody could um, have some type of accident. Something could be going on with somebody's knee or somebody's legs or um, somebody's in some type of pain or something like that or whatever this is it's like backfire energy is what i'm getting here is what it is yeah good news coming for you for you <laughs> or this may be the good news that the stuff is backfiring okay i feel like you're you're on to new bigger and better things yeah this person's plan has been stopped look child let me show y'all this is you good things coming you got the adventure car here celebrating with friends okay um, you know, having a good time. Maybe you're going on spa, getting your nails done, self-care. Even if you're not hanging out with friends, you may just be taking care of yourself. Like things are looking good for you, Libra. Okay. You got the adventure card. This is the full energy. So this is um a new beginning, having new experiences, stepping um, you know, a new new beginning, fresh start, like I said before. Okay, for some of you, this is like a, a family. You may be pregnant, you may um you may just be finding your sweetheart, okay? Um, it says pure, unconditional love and beloved here, okay? Now, the person that was trying to control, and they keep telling me to cross watch her. Somebody here is watching, okay? Well, I, you here. I see you. You acknowledged, all right? Now, go play in traffic. I'm sorry. That wasn't nice, but... <laughs> Anyway, sorry, not sorry, because especially if you hear it because you want some foul ish, like, come on now. Anyway, so the person that had the plan, because this strategy card in the marionette here, this person had a plan to try to control something, control some type of outcome, maybe even control you, okay? But it's been stopped. Remember the third party energy, third wheel, whoever that person is, that outside influence. That's trying to interfere and whatever it is that you got going on, they've been stopped. Mm -hmm. And now you got luck on your side, luck coming in, whatever that looks like for you. Good things, good fortune coming in here for you. Yeah, because you were obedient. Coach says advice, obedience, and knowledge. Because you've been obedient, because you've been healing, because you're not low vibrational and because you're not doing whatever the heck it is that they're doing persevering oh you ready to go libra you ready to go libra on go look at that on go <laughs> moving forward some of you are getting a new house okay and i feel like if this was a group of people collaborating against you then you know things aren't going well for them right now things aren't going well for them yeah failure mm-hmm it failed. Somebody's somebody had like somebody was all in their ego. This person thought, "Oh, I can do this. It's gonna be done." Da, 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 da. If this is a group of people, they fighting amongst themselves. Yeah, they're angry, fighting amongst themselves. There's a conflict card, okay? Because they tried to tempt fate or stop fate. Now this person is long. If this is somebody that you know was trying to stop love from coming in for you because they were jealous if this was an ex okay now this person is lonely and angry and stressed out yeah over some type of over a marriage here somebody feels embarrassed about something that they did 
and they want to apologize. I said that. Could be somebody you work with. It could be a work situation here. Some of you are working hard, stacking your money, saving your coins because you got a goal in mind. Somebody was trying to warn this person or tell this person to stop doing things. 7755 is here, um, but they weren't listening. Yeah, I feel like this person was getting signs and, and shit from the universe to like stop doing certain things, but they weren't listening. Yeah, to stop. This is my fake, faking your energy. Somebody always though is wearing a false mask. It says deception, pretending, and what does that say? Inconstancy. All right. Somebody was hoping that you guys would get into some type of accident, but I feel like that shit is backfiring. That's crazy. That's crazy. Something about um coke. Yeah, they mad. Somebody mad and stressed. I told you. And I feel like it's because they was found out because the damn mask thing came off. And because you're move you're pursuing forward anyway. Somebody is suffering a loss of you. Child. Yeah, look, loneliness. I'm telling you, this person feels lonely and isolated. Ooh, this is somebody who, ooh, 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 whoever this person or these people are, by the end of this, if they're not already, this is somebody that's going to be hoping and wishing for the end, okay? And I mean the end, end. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just leave that there, okay? Anything else we need to know, Spirit, because I'm about to be done with this. Let me pull from the tarot deck. What you doing over there? Hmm. Okay. You okay? Hmm. Sleeping. Almost time to go to bed. Yeah. Okay, the number 62, 64, 41. 16 or 54 could be significant to somebody. We have um, January the 6th out here. I'm also seeing 34, 43, um, uh, 34, 35, 43, 45, um, 54, and 53, okay? Um, June 2nd, June 4th, April 1st. I'm here in October 17th, January 3rd, January 6th, May 5th. I mean, May 4th. Maybe May 5th because I said it. Yeah. May 4th is out here twice. 5454 is out here. So you guys may want to Google that angel number. The full card is here. Yeah, I feel like you're moving forward. You're moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. Yep, you're getting whatever this is that's coming to you. And this person just don't feel left out in the cold. I mean, I, I don't know. There's that Queen of Wands energy. King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely third-party energy. Queen of Wands, King of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. That's three people right there. That's Aries, Virgo. Um, Libra, the energy, that's you. The moon card, Cancer, Pisces, Aquarius. Somebody was trying to hide something, do something. Now this person has, like, they can't even... This is somebody who don't even um, recognize their own face or their own reflection or something like that. Like, it's something distorted about this person's image or, or energy or something. Virgo energy. Eight of Wands. There's some news coming in about work that somebody's trying to slow down. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm trying to fuck with your money, your stability. I heard mental too. Like, maybe we're trying to mess with your mental. You have the strength card out here that fell on top of fright. Leo energy. Um, excuse me. Yeah, there's something significant about reaching your goals. Because remember we saw that adventure card, the mountain top. Do y'all remember what it looked like? Uh, I'm not going to go back through it. But anyway, this card right here, there's a person 
claiming, you know, on top of a mountain with a flag too. So you're going to get some type of win or some type of victory here. The hangman is here. Somebody's waiting on something. <sighs> Looking at something from a different perspective. That's that idea. Look, there's that light bulb again. So I feel like now somebody's just trying to going back to the drawing board type of energy. This this idea didn't work. It was in the reverse. So now they going back to the drawing board, trying to figure it out, looking at it from a different angle, trying to figure out another way to come in and do the same daggone thing. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> the wheel of fortune is here. Oh, divine timing. The wheel is turning. There's going to be some type of, um, I'm hearing distorted masculine. For a lot of y'all, this is a masculine energy. It could be some, it could be even fem a feminine operating out of their masculine energy very heavily. Okay. So take it how it resonates. Um, cause I did pick up on that feminine energy. So that could be just somebody that is very masculine. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm hearing distorted view. Something about turquoise. Maybe you guys need to work with turquoise or get get turquoise. There's communication coming in to the Eight of Swords. I mean, to the Queen of Swords. Full of fortune. It's divine timing for this communication to come in. Ending. Scorpio energy. Somebody wants to talk to you, Libra. And you like, come on, because whatever it is, it better be the truth, because I ain't with the bullshit. I meant the BS. Sorry. I'm seeing August out here. It could be significant. December and October are here. So something about the last, something that have been going on since August, since Leo season. I'm hearing turmoil, chaos, drama, five of wands energy, a lot of conflict. Whether this is inner conflict with somebody or outer. August the 12th, August the 10th, um, December 8th, December 10th, October 12th, October 8th. Could be significant. I'm also seeing 88. Oh, I'm seeing 88. That's interesting because I have I took a screenshot on my phone. It was 808, and then my battery was on 88%. So that's crazy. The King of Wands wants to come out here. Four of Pentacles. I'm here. Baby, hold on to me. Cause I'm a special time. Didn't that come out before in a reading? Somebody is holding on to your energy. Maybe even trying to manipulate it in some type of way. Or this is somebody that's trying to manifest you with the magician card out here. Or they're trying to manifest something here. This is also somebody who really likes the way you look. So you, they could have pictures of you or take pictures of you. Or if you take selfies or recently posted something here. This person, they watch you, child. They they watch you. Um so for the signs out here, you have heavy fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini. Um for the majors out here. There's there's some Capricorn here, but it's not major. Pisces. Um there's also yeah, Pisces. Yeah, and um, Aquarius, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius. See, in August 4th, August 1st, August 9th, August 19th, um, January 4th, January 9th, January 19th, January 8th, January 12th, January 10th, December. 4th, December 1st, December 9th, December 19th, October 4th, October 1st, October 9th, October 19th, September 19th, September 1st, September 4th, September 8th, September 10th, <laughs> September 12th. Okay. Yeah, somebody's really trying to figure something out here. Oh, gosh. All right. I'm going to just leave this reading here, guys. Let me see if there's any final messages that want to come out. What is this communication about? Let me see what that is. Oh, more damn. Some secrets and lies or some, some something that somebody's been holding back. 
the moon card. Truth may be coming out. What's this, what's this conversation? Eight of Wands. Somebody feeling stuck or trapped. I don't know if this is stuck on you. Somebody in their head, in their feelings. Knight of Swords, that's the communication, the higher fan. Somebody may even her gift you, gift you something. Um, or somebody may want to talk about having a higher level of commitment here with the higher from car. That's why I said somebody in their feelings or in their emotions. But she, yeah, seven of swords, that shit shady as hell. Damn, still got so The lovers is here. With the three of pentacles in the reverse and the four of wands. Four of pentacles. Okay. Again, it's trying to sabotage the union. Somebody's also gossiping. If you're dealing with somebody, somebody's also gossiping about this or talking about this to anybody that'll listen, child. And somebody just desperately wants to hold on to something, some connection here. 7-7 seven, seven could be significant. July 7th. Three of Pentacles is in reverse. Somebody don't want you working with somebody else, collaborating with somebody else here. They're holding on to your energy. I'm seeing 34 here again. 34, 34 could be significant or 43, 43. You might want to look up those angel numbers. I'm also seeing May 3rd, May 7th, May 6th, May 4th, April 6th, April 7th. Huh. I'm seeing 4, 5, 6, 7, but it's not in order. But I see 4, 5, 6, 7. Um, what did I say? April 6th, April 7th, April 18th, April 8th, April 5th, July 6th, July 4th, July 18th, July 5th, <laughs> July 8th, July 3rd, March 7th, March 6th, March 4th, March 18th, March 5th, March 8th. All right, I'm leaving this message here. Hope this helped, guys. I'll see y'all later. Bye.